Okay, let's proceed to example 2. Okay, let's read the question. Okay, a person pulls a 50kg crate. So, this is your crate lah. Berat dia 50kg. Uh, okay, and then uh, 40 meter along the horizontal floor. So, dia bergerak sebanyak 40 meter lah. So, dia mula-mula dia kat sini and then dia kena tolak. Uh, sampai kat sini eh, bergerak sebanyak 40 meter By a constant force So apparently dia kena tarik lah That's why dia gerak ke sana So 100 newton which acts at 37 angle as shown in the figure below Okay betul lah kena tarik 37 uh, The floor is rough and exerts a frictional force of 15 newton So disebabkan objek ni bergerak ke sana Maka frictional force akan opposite motion with frictional force ke sana lah Di mana nilai frictional force adalah 50 newton. Nilai force yang kita kenakan tadi adalah 100 newton. Okay, determine work done by the normal force. Okay, first, okay, kalau kamu jumpa uh, soalan macam ni, soalan work ni, uh, kita buat macam kita buat chapter 4 itu. Kita buat FBD. Okay, so we'll do FBD. Okay, how to make this FBD? Okay, uh, katalah uh, this one kamu ada nor weight. Ni ada normal and then kita ada F which is 37 and then what else kita ada frictional force sebanyak 50 newton. This one 100 newton right. Okay and then tambah lagi satu disebabkan ni adalah work. So kita tambah um, this one, distance dia bergerak adalah sebanyak S sama dengan 40 meter. Okay, so sekarang A dia nak work done by the normal force. Okay, kita pun tulis lah formula dia. W is equals to Fs cos theta. Betul kan formula work done? But, now my force is normal. Okay, so miss gantikan this one. Force tadi tu dengan Ns cos theta. Okay. But I don't know what the value of N. So miss biar je. S dia bergerak sebanyak 40 meter. Cos. Okay. Tengok angle antara N dengan S eh. Sebab theta adalah angle antara F dengan S kamu. So untuk normal. Kita cakap pasal angle antara normal dengan S lah. So this is your normal. Kan. And this is your S. So angle between N and S adalah 90. So. We know that cos 90 is 0. So, kalau kamu tak tahu N pun tak apa. Sebab nilai dia confirm-confirm kosong joule. Okay. And then the second question dia nak work done by the weight. So, kita pun tulis lah formula dia. W sama dengan Fs cos theta. But now my force is weight. So, miss gantikan dia. Okay. Ws, Ws cos theta. And I know that W is mg S cos theta. Okay, gantikan nilai dia. Mass is 50. G is 9.81. S is 40. Cos. Okay, tengok angle antara weight. And then S kamu kat sini. So, angle dia adalah also 90. So, your answer will be 0 joule. Okay. And then, how about C? C dia nak work done by force F. Okay, again, kita tulis formula dia. So, Miss Padam ni tak cukup tempat. So, um, C W is equals to F S cos theta. So, I want, so the force is right now is F lah. So, Miss denote this as work done by force F. I know that force is 100. S is 40. Okay, and then cos, okay, theta lah angle antara F dengan S. So, my F is now force F. So, this is your F and then this is your S. So, angle antara mereka adalah 37. So, tekan kalkulator, kamu akan dapat jawapan dia sama dengan 3194.5 Joule. Okay, and then for D, you nak work done by the friction force. So, again, Mr. Lee's formula dia, frictionless force. So, frictional force times distance cos theta. Di mana frictional force nilai dia 50, S is 40. Okay, so tengok angle antara frictional force ke sana, right? S ke sana. Okay, tengok anak panah dia tau. So, angle antara mereka adalah 180. 180. 
So your answer would be negative 2000 joule. Okay. And then how about E? E dia nak total work done on the crate. So total work done lah. Agak-agak macam mana nak buat ni. So kita tambahkan semua nilai dia. Tadi kita dapat work done by normal force is 0 joule. This one is 0 joule. Okay and then I'm going to add them all lah. So work done total sama dengan kosong plus kosong plus this value here plus this value here. So plus T14.5 minus 2000. So kamu akan dapat jawapan dia sama dengan 1194.5 joule. Okay.